Here are some notes on digoxin toxicity. The mechanism of toxicity and the mechanism of action is that digoxin inhibits the sodium potassium ATPase pump, which is depicted down here. This leads to increased intracellular sodium, which is then exchanged for calcium, leading to increased intracellular calcium through the calcium sodium exchanger, as I said. Some risk factors for digoxin toxicity, renal impairment, since digoxin is primarily cleared by the kidney, and digoxin toxicity can even happen with stable chronic dosing with levels within the therapeutic range. Another risk factor is hypokalemia, such as that caused by some diuretics. This leads to increased binding to cardiac cells. There's some clinical manifestations early to late listed here for digoxin toxicity. Early signs include frequent ventricular ectopic beats and AV nodal blockade. Later signs include junctional rhythms, ventricular tachycardia, atrial tachycardias with a slow ventricular response, and atrial tachycardia with a two to one AV block is pathognomonic. The treatment for digoxin toxicity is digoxin-specific antibody fragments, uh, which are used in life-threatening cases. If cardiac arrest does occur, you need to continue CPR for at least 30 minutes after the antibodies have been administered.